Hi, my name is Chase Ballard. I'm Section's lead AI consultant. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about how to use ChatGPT to generate quarterly sales reports. Some of the common challenges we think about when we're generating these sales reports is we've got a lot of time-consuming data analysis to do. So we've got a large data set, maybe it's 100, 200, or 1,000 plus records that we need to extract some meaningful metrics and insights from. And we need to take those metrics and those insights and turn those into actionable recommendations. So going beyond the raw data to get some valuable business intelligence from these insights. Then we need to have consistency in our reporting. All right, we want each report that we're generating to follow the same structure, have the same data points, and include all the necessary information when we're reporting this out to our team, to the board, to our CRO, whomever it might be. And then finally, we want to ensure that all our data points, all our calculations are accurate and reflect what we're seeing, not only in our CRM, but in the real world as we're talking about these data points. So here's how we're going to use AI to address some of these challenges. We're going to offload some of that rote data analysis to AI by letting it write the actual code and leveraging code interpreter to do these quick and accurate calculations so we can focus on more higher value tasks. Second, we're going to use AI to ensure that our reporting structure is consistent. So it's going to follow a standardized template that we set. Third, we're going to take the raw data and metrics, and we're going to use the natural language capabilities of the AI to find some key insights, recommendations, and some next steps that we can look for. The fourth thing we're going to do is we're going to use AI to compile a really visually appealing PDF so we can use that for distribution and we address the challenge of having to create a professional report. And then fifth, we're going to reduce the human error by relying on that AI for accurate calculations and data processing. So what you'll need to get started, you're going to need a chat GPT plus, this is a paid account. We want access to more messages and we want that code interpreter functionality so that we can use those messages more effectively. Second is our sales data. So this is usually a CSV and Excel or some sort of tabular format to do the analysis on. In this case, we're going to be extracting it out of our CRM. And then third, we've got our metrics and insights. So what is that information that we want ChatGPT to analyze? Is it total revenue, opportunities by stage, contract value by stage, that kind of information? And then fourth, I have a starter prompt that tells ChatGPT what steps we want it to perform, the key metrics we want to try to analyze, and then the format of the report. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to upload our sales data from a CSV into ChatGPT, and it's going to use this code interpreter functionality to help us write the Python code and actually output the results that we're looking for. Second, we're going to instruct ChatGPT to analyze the data, calculate those key metrics. In our case, it's going to be total revenue, closed one revenue, et cetera. And then third, we're going to generate the sales by stage breakdown in a table. We're going to generate another table that identifies our top deals by contract value. And then fifth, this is where we're going to use that natural language capability to take that data, interpret it, and get a set of key insights, recommendations, and next steps. And then finally, we're going to compile everything into a PDF so we can clearly communicate it out to whomever needs to have access to it. There's a few things we need to watch out for, though. We want to always identify our key figures against our raw data. So as everything passed the straight face test, we're asking the AI to do this. We want to validate this at each step. We want to cross-check some of our insights with our team because they have the most domain knowledge in this. So if we've got a lot of opportunities sitting in the closed um, one stage, but they haven't converted, we're going to need to verify that with the team to make sure that's actually true or look at the data ourselves. Third, we're going to review our recommendations for our specific business context. Our prompt shouldn't give us a very generic result, but we want to go back and look at the output from ChatGPT to verify that it has the relevant context that we're looking for. And then fourth, we got to double check any unusual or surprising findings. So these are anomalies in the data that we might see. And then fifth, the prompt is really built around this, but it's maintaining the human oversight throughout the report generation process. So we're going to see all these steps, and I'll talk through the things to watch out for as we're going through the demo. And now we're going to hop over to ChatGPT. Okay, so now we're in ChatGPT, 
and I've got the ChatGPT 4.0 model pulled up, which has access to uh, the code interpreter functionality and is the latest model that we're going to use from OpenAI. So the first thing I've done here is I've got a new chat and I've pasted in my prompt here that goes through all the steps that we outlined previously. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull in my actual CSV of the healthcare data I'm going to be using in this demonstration today. So I've got the CSV in my prompt. I'm going to click enter and we're actually going to get started. So before we go into step one, which it's already working on right now, I just want to show you the data. So I've got the account name, the sales stage, the healthcare type, and the contract value in my data. Those are the only four columns that I've provided in this table. And so what we're going to do is actually see how it's going with step one. So in step one, I've asked it to analyze the data and generate the following metrics. Total revenue, total closed one revenue, the number of deals, the win rate, and the average deal size. So the great thing about this is ChatGPT is actually writing some code to make sure that it has access to all the information. And so it's pulling out the account name, the sales stage, the healthcare type, and the contract value. And so once it sees that it has access to that data and knows what each of those columns mean, it's going to go in and calculate the metrics for me. And so what it's actually doing is writing the Python code, similar to some of the things that I would do in Excel to sum up the total revenue, calculate the number of deals, just in a little bit more of a complex and deterministic way using this Python code. And so the really great thing about this is this code is using the CSV data that I've uploaded. So we're not asking it to use its natural language. If you've used ChatGPT before and asked it to do math, it's not very good at it. So we're basically using this Python code interpreter in order to do all that math that the model is really bad at. And so it's given me my five metrics from my sales data from last quarter. And then at each step, it's going to ask me if it wants to proceed. So this is where I need to be really cognizant and focus in and maybe do double checking the first couple times I do this to make sure that the total revenue, my win rate, the number of deals, all these things pass the straight face test and that they're accurate based on my calculations. In this case, I've done this enough, so I'm pretty confident in these. So I'm going to tell it that I actually want to proceed to step two where it's going to outline the sales by stage. So it's writing this code again to give me each of the stages and the total revenue in that stage. This is one less thing I would have to do in Excel or try to pull out of my CRM into a sales report. And so this looks pretty good to me. I'm going to keep going on to step three where we're going to get the top five deals by the contract value. So now it's writing all the code to sort the information into the top five based on contract value or sort all of them and give me the top five back and so I've got these healthcare data names here these account names which are anonymized for this purpose so this looks pretty good to me and now we're gonna move on to step four and we're gonna say yes and this is where it's gonna start extracting some of the key insights from the data that it's found so one of the things it's, it's seeing is that there's significant revenue in the demonstration stage. I've got a terrible win rate of 17.33%. So it's telling me a lot of these deals aren't converting into closed deals. So we need to evaluate the effectiveness of our strategies during those early critical stages of the process. And then a lot of the high deal value is in the healthcare systems both with less and more than 250 beds, right? So it's a significant opportunity for us to focus on these high value deals. So once I've got that, I'm gonna to proceed to step five, which is the recommendations based on the data, which is those actionable insights that I can use for next quarter in order to change some of these insights, make them better, get my win rate up and focus on those high value deals. So I'm gonna proceed with this stage and here's the recommendation improve the conversion strategies in the demonstration phase, enhance the follow-up and negotiation tactics based on that 17.33% win rate. So how can I improve my follow-up, my negotiation, get more aggressive in my follow-up, get those deals closed in those last stages. And the last thing is target those health systems because they're those high value opportunities. So this passes the straight face test from my perspective because I've looked through this data and know my health systems are the high target values and that my win rate is super low and I've got all this backlog in the demonstration stage. So now it's asking me if I want to go to step six, which is where it will outline some next steps based on the data. 
And so now it's saying conduct a sales process review, develop a targeted outreach campaign for the health system, and then do some regular training and role playing scenarios for the team to focus on objection handling, closing techniques, negotiation strategies, really good things that I can do for next quarter to improve my metrics. And then at the last stage, we've got step seven, which is to create this human readable PDF that I've instructed it to give. I'm going to move on to step seven. So now it's going to take all this data that we've generated throughout these steps, and it's actually going to put this into a PDF for us. So it's writing all the code to do that. It's pulling in the total revenue, the total closed one, the number of deals, etc., into a beautiful PDF for us. It'll actually give us a link to download this PDF. And that's going to be the end of our process. So we're going to actually go over view the PDF really quickly. And so you can see I've got my quarterly sales report with an executive summary that I've asked it to give, my sales by stage, there's my top five deals by contract value, and it's given me some key insights, the recommendations and next steps that we talked about in a little bit of a summarized fashion. So from here, I can go back into ChatGPT, and if I don't like something, I can ask it to change it. I can ask it to change the formatting, the styling, or go back to my initial prompt and ask it to do different metrics, different sections, and iterate on from here. But the goal is, now that I have this prompt, and I feel like it's in a good place, I can use this quarter over quarter to generate a similar outcome each time. It's got these specific sections that we're looking at, and it's pulling the same data for me.